make a motion. Again, let me remind you to give a written copy of it to the page at your microphone and to bring it to the platform or even better, submit it through your um, Summit Annual Meeting app or email it to registration secretary at sbc.net. I will remind you again that the submission of a motion does not constitute as the filing of a motion, um, or excuse me, a filing of a motion does not constitute making a motion. That requires you at a microphone being recognized and presenting it to the body. Be sure that your name and the name of your church are attached to your motion. Under the rules, all motions are referred to the committee on the order of business. The ones that were referred from this morning or the ones that were submitted this morning, the report for that will be coming toward the end of our day today. Um, so uh, we'll have the first report in a little bit. Please note at this time that it is in order to make motions, but not to debate them. We will save that for uh, the time when we consider it, okay? Microphone 1A. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Alan Cross, a messenger from Petaluma Valley Baptist Church. And since we have broken precedent in calling for the recension of a previous resolution from previous years, I'd like to move that the messenger of the Southern Baptist Convention rescind the unanimous approval SBC messengers and founders gave as, as of um, May 13th, 1861, to the report of the Special Committee on the State of the Country, as noted on pages 1617, and detailed in Appendix L of the Proceedings of the Southern Baptist Convention held at First Baptist Church in Savannah, Georgia, May 10th through 13th, 1861, pledging aid and approval to the formation of the Confederate States of America, as summarized in the second resolved, that we must cordially approve of the formation of the government of the Confederate States of America and admire and applaud the noble course of that government up to this present time. So, Alan, is there a second? So your motion is to rescind the resolution from 1861? That's correct. Okay, if you'll make sure that gets into our people here. Thank you, Alan. 7A. My name is Robert White. I am the pastor and messenger of Shaw Heights Baptist Church in Sumter, South Carolina. I move that the executive committee study the possibility of having the resolutions committee of the Southern Baptist Convention complete its report to the annual convention, uh, convention by May the 1st annually in order that resolutions to the annual convention be made available on the convention's website 30 days prior to the Southern Baptist Convention's annual meeting in order that the messengers can have time to study and understand what they're being asked to support. Okay, is there a second? If you will get your motion filed with us, thank you. 7B. Well, my name is Pastor Charles Johnson from First Baptist Church of St. Hook, Kentucky. I make a motion to amend bylaw 20, section five, regarding the committee on resolutions. It currently reads as thus, the committee on resolutions shall prepare and submit to each annual meeting of the convention only such resolutions the committee recommends for adoption. Such resolutions may be based upon proposals received by the committee or may originate with the committee. The proposed change would add this additional statement. Proposals received and accepted by the committee for adoption should not be altered in such a way as either contradict the intent of the original proposal without the explicit consent of the author. Proposals originating with the committee or proposals amended in such a way that they bear no substantial resemblance to the original shall be signified as originating with the committee when presented for adoption. Is there a second? Okay, if you'll file your motion here with us. 7C. 7C. Yes, Mr. President. My name is Stephen Bailey. I'm a messenger from Calvary Baptist Church, Osceola, Arkansas. I'm requesting that bylaw 10C be amended to require the cooperative program gifts given by each nominee's church be included in the nominating speech for any of our offices. We need to know if they're supporting the cooperative program, if they're going to be leading us. Okay, is there a second? 
Okay, if you'll make sure your motion is filed here with us. 8A. My name is Nate McLaughlin. I'm from Trinity Baptist Church in Amarillo, Texas. I move that the SBC Executive Committee or a subcommittee formed by the Exec Committee with IMB representation explore a way to enable IMB and NAMB missionaries who live outside the United States to vote via proxy at SBC annual meetings. This motion would require a bylaws revision, yet would be well received by the churches and missionaries who constitute a major voting bloc, yet have little say in convection matters. So, is there a second? Second. Thank you. If you'll make sure your motion is filed with us. 6A. Thanks, President Greer. My name is Jason Wing. I am from University Baptist Church in Beaver Creek, Ohio. We have a group of brand new messengers with us this year, and we've learned a lot along the way. It seems to me that one of the things that's been very divisive in the SBC over the past few years is that we have not had adequate time to consider resolutions before the annual meeting. Therefore, I move that the appropriate committees consider changing the appropriate bylaws and providing the appropriate resources so that resolutions presented at the annual meeting can be provided to messengers with more advanced notice, perhaps one week, one week or more if possible. Okay, I heard a second. And so if you will make sure your motion is filed here with us. 9A. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Roy Youngblood, First Baptist Church of Greenville, Texas. I make a motion that the Southern Baptist Convention, all entities and churches, unite for a Sunday, for a Sunday re for repentance over sin, fasting in humility, and prayer for unity of the Holy Spirit within all aspects in, of our organization and convention be added to the annual calendar of events. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Is there a second? Okay, if you'll make sure your motion is filed here with us. 9B. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Chad Tibbs pastor and messenger from Fellowship Baptist Church in Trout, Louisiana. Mr. President, I move that according to Article 6 of our 2000 Baptist Faith and Message, and according to the teaching of 1 Timothy 2.12, that we, the Southern Baptist Convention, would break fellowship with Saddleback Baptist Church as they have ordained three ladies as pastors and all other churches that would choose to follow this path. At the very least, I am asking that the validity of this matter be looked into and the report given at the 2022 Convention of Action Taken. Thank you. Sir, that is a credentials challenge, and so we are going to file that with the credentials committee. So that's how we receive that, and it doesn't need a second. And there's nothing more you need to do. It has been filed with the Credentials Committee. 4A. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Jonathan Six. I am a messenger from Youngsville, from Faith Baptist Church in Youngsville, North Carolina. Mr. President, if we are going to be in the business of rescinding previous conventions resolutions, then all past resolutions that do not reflect our biblical and theological convictions should be rescinded. Therefore, I move that the Southern Baptist Convention meeting on June 15 and 16 of 2021 in Nashville, Tennessee, rescind the following resolutions. 
Resolution on Colored People, dated 1849. Resolution on Negroes, dated 1849. Resolution on Missions, dated 1855. Resolution by Brother J.J. Fleming of, on 1861. Resolution on Peace, dated 1863. Resolution on Colored People, dated 1868. Resolution on Negroes, dated 1868. Report Jonathan, on Jonathan, I hate to interrupt you, but yes. technically you're allowed to suggest rescinding one resolution. So we're going to take your first one. I have an additional statement in regard to that. Well, that will have to wait until we actually uh, debate the motion. Right now we're just okay. uh, taking the motion. So thank you. Make sure it's filed with us here. Is there a second? Sorry. Here's a second. Make sure it's filed with us here. Thank you, Jonathan. 4B. Howdy, Mr. President. My name is Tristan Clark. I am the pastor and messenger of uh, First Baptist Church of Gwynn, Michigan. I move that the newly elected president of the Southern Baptist Convention establish a task force comprised of not less than one Southern Baptist pastor who is biblically committed to the end of abortion from each state of the union with the purpose of researching, determining, and then reporting to the SBC, that echo, bro, the SBC messengers of the 2022 annual meeting the most effective strategies, avenues, and allocations of resources at our disposal to the effect that we change the U.S. such that we move beyond the regulation of abortion to the point of its abolition. Sorry for stuttering. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Is there a second? All right. Make sure your motion is filed here with us. 4C. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Gary Leroy, messenger from Tulip Grove Baptist Church here in Old Hickory, Tennessee. And on a lighter note, in light of the increased attendance created by bringing the annual meeting to Nashville and a desire to provide an opportunity for more churches to participate in the agenda of the annual meeting, I move that the executive committee form a subgroup within its trustees to study the feasibility of first making Nashville the permanent site of the annual meeting, and second, providing satellite locations throughout the country to allow attendees to fully participate in the annual meeting regardless of location, our church size. Is there a second? All right, make sure your motion's filed with us. Thank you, sir. 2A. Yes, uh, I'm Dr. Walter Boutwell. I'm a messenger from First Baptist Church, Montgomery. I've been a pediatrician for close to 50 years. I'd like to move if my phone will let me. Uh, I move, whereas the use of puberty blocking agents in prepubertal children has neither the scientific, moral, nor Christian basis for use that an appropriate committee take up the study thereof to produce guidance for SBC pastors and churches assisting parents and both within and without the church in making humane and ethical choices. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Make sure your motion is filed with us. Thank you, sir. 2B. Thank you, Todd Stennett, senior pastor, messenger from Black Oak Heights Baptist Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. I move that the messengers of the 2021 Southern Baptist Convention take one vote to accomplish all of the following, to reject every form of racism 
by affirming that every member of the human race is made in the image of God. To reject critical race theory and intersectionality as unbiblical philosophies that exist to divide people along the lines of race, to affirm our conviction that Jesus is Lord, the Bible is the inerrant, sufficient Word of God, and that the Great Commission is mandatory, and to vow to maintain a doctrinal unity that compels us to reach every tribe, tongue, and nation with the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. I kind of think you took your own vote there. Um, is there a second? All right, let's make sure you get your motion down here to the front. 2C. Pastor Phil Nelson from Lakeland Baptist Church in Carbondale, Illinois. Due to the long history of unbiblical racial practices in many of our churches, we encourage the adoption of the name Great Commission Baptist Churches because we must always be reforming until heaven is our eternal home. I believe such reforming behavior as the adoption of this new name will make it clear that we no longer want the sins of the past to set our future. I move that from this day on, we refer to our convention of churches as the Great Commission Baptist Convention. Is there a second? All right, if you'll make sure that your uh, resolution is filed here with us, or excuse me, your motion. 6B. Thank you, Mr. President. Brad Patterson from Levon, Texas, First Baptist Levon. Uh, in light of transparency, I move that the Southern Baptist Convention request each entity to examine its use of non-disclosure agreements and report its findings to the messengers of the 2022 annual meeting of the Southern Baptist Convention in Anaheim, California, reporting said findings with particular attention to three areas. What is the biblical justification for the use of non-disclosure agreements? How many non-disclosure agreements have been signed and agreed to in the last five years? And if non-disclosure agreements have been utilized, in what types of instances were they utilized? It's submitted. Is there a second? Thank you. 3A. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Michael Hoffman. I'm a messenger from Summit Woods Baptist Church in Lee Summit, North Carolina. I move that the messengers of the Southern Baptist Convention 2021 direct the Committee on the Order of Business of the 2022 Southern Baptist Convention Annual Meeting to designate no less than 20% of the time in the proposed annual meeting schedule be allotted for messengers to introduce, deliberate upon, and vote on the matters before them. Is there a second? Make sure your motion is filed with us here. Thank you. 3B. Hello, Mr. President. My name is Christopher Benavides, a messenger from Oak Ridge Baptist Church in San Antonio, Texas. In the continual spirit of unity and in light of the increasing ethnic and geographical diversity of Texas um, churches in the SBC and proliferation of SBC church plants around the world, I would like to make a motion to amend the Article I of the Constitution to rename the Southern Baptist Convention to the Great Commission Baptist. Now I know we would never lose our roots by changing a name, but to be more and more reflective of our brothers and sisters around the world and share our name, say share our same convictions, is the reason why I would like to propose the name change. Thank you. Is there a second? You make sure your motion is filed here with us. Thank you. Three C. Yeah, Mr. President, my name is Rick Hillard, messenger from First Baptist Church in Princeton, Kentucky. I move that the Southern Baptist Convention requests beginning in 2023 that every five years, each entity of the Southern Baptist Convention take steps needed to undergo a holistic and complete audit with specific disclosure of all details made public to any Southern Baptist no later than 30 days prior to the coinciding year's annual meeting. It is submitted already. Thank you. Is there a second? 5A. Thank you, 
Thank you, Mr. President. My name is John Blackman. I am a messenger from Meansville Baptist Church in Meansville, Georgia. In light of the fact that there are approximately 11 million deaf people in the United States and only two to 4% consider themselves Christian and being inspired by the faithful work of the IMB and recognition and attention given to the deaf affinity group since 2009, I move that the convention requests the trustees of Lifeway Christian Resources and the North American Mission Board to research and report on the feasibility of a partnership to produce and provide access to resources for existing deaf ministries and future work among deaf peoples in the United States to include but not be limited to theological education, discipleship materials, print, video, and other resources prepared in and by individuals skilled in American Sign Language. Is there a second? All right, make sure your motion has been filed here with us. The allotted time for the introduction of new business has expired, and so the chair recognizes Dr. Paul Chitwood, president of the International Mission Board for his report, and Paul, if I could just say, what an incredibly encouraging sending service last night.